the man with the most interesting name I have ever heard was arrested not too long ago. Here's an interesting story. A guy with the most interesting name I have ever heard was arrested, was arrested, well, like, pretty much two years ago, and uh, around two years ago, on charges of carrying a concealed weapon, possession of drugs, uh, paraphernalia, possession of marijuana, and a violation of probation in Madison, Wisconsin. But his name, his name is unforgettable. Okay, are you ready? You are? Okay, pretty long. Bezow, doo doo, zoppity bop, bop bop. You made that up. First name, Bezow. Middle name, doo doo. Last name, zoppity bop, bop bop. I did not make this up. This is his real name. The thing is, his name was not all, always Bezal Dudu Zappity Bop Bop. It was, ori it was original. Yeah, it was originally Jeffrey Walsh. So. Oh, well, I don't blame him for changing it. That's better. Mm, that's debatable. He changed his name in November 2011 and has been jailed in Washington County since July 20th, following a routine traffic stop, uh, uh, according to jailhouse records. My favorite thing about Bezo is that, quote unquote, these are the exact words he said to the cops that originally arrested him. These are like the exact words he said. I will get even with you stupid cops. That is not something I would say like, I'm innocent, but I will get even with you. <laughs> that's like, that's like something that someone, anyway. Let's just, let's just stop for a second. I just have to ask you, why would you change your middle name to another word for Dudu is his middle name. Why, why do you think he changed it? What would to be, force someone? To be interesting and to get people talking about him. To get attention. To make it hard for the police to put his name on the floor. His name's crawling up. Yeah, he, I have an idea. Brilliant idea. I will not get arrested because you see how lined these are like this big. <laughs> They're never gonna be able to write these all doo doo zappa dee zappa ba 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 la ba ru la like. So they let him go. They let him go. You think? No. But that's what they thought they were going to do. And that was, well, or here's one of the last guests. He was dared. His friend said, I dare you to get drunk, I dare you to break some laws, and then. Change your name to the stupidest name ever. I thought you thought it was the most interesting name ever. Strangest. Strangest. Strangest name ever. It's, a, it, it's in the freaking title. Strangest name in history. It's like, how do you... Uh, I'm sorry, I missed... It's remember. fine, it's fine. It is interesting, you must admit. Wait, what about the deer thing? That's why I came up with this game. So wait, what did you say his real name is? Jeffrey. Or his name he was born, or whatever. It's Jeffrey Lincoln, sure. Jeffrey Walsh. Huh. And, and I, he's from Wisconsin, Wisconsin, where they talk like that. So his name would be He's Al Do Do Zappity Bop Bop. Zappity Bop Bop. I'm not sure if you can see it, but right here, this is the guy. It's like. He's a normal looking person. Yeah, he's playing he the guitar. The bar. He's like... How old was he? 32. He looks younger than that. I know, he does. He's taking good yeah. care of himself for all that marijuana smoking. Mm -hmm. Well, you know... I don't know. I heard it does wonders for your skin. I've heard the marijuana. opposite. That's why I said that. It's called being sarcastic. I see. You might want to look it up in the dictionary. So anyway, back to the daring thing. I came up with this game called Break the Law or Name. The rules are pretty simple. I'll ask you law or name, and you'll answer. If you choose the law, you have to choose any law to break. And you, and we will act it out. Like, we break, you break the law, and I'll be like, if you're stealing, you, I'll be the store clerk. Or if you're, uh, let's see, what else? Flame.
playing someone live, I'm not sure why you want to get up, playing someone live, and I'd be like, but he's playing, he's playing me. So I get that part. But if you, so yeah. But if you choose name, then I will just, for the, next, for the rest of next episode, maybe the next episode of uh, Talking to Talkers will be with Brent, but right now it's with John. So if the next episode with John in it, will be, um, I'll have to call him the name I pick. So what's your choice? Oh, that's it? Oh, um. Yeah, sorry about that. There was a bit of a disturbance in the force there. Yeah, uh, the camera turned off, so we're continuing. Like nothing ever happened. So, I have to tell you my choice, or I just do my choice? If you were, if you pick, if you pick um, the acting up one, it's more of a game then, because you don't have to tell me. Right. I mean, you, you can, you're not allowed to tell me. That's what I thought. But if you do tell me, then, well, and I have to try to guess it as I'm asking it out. We'll try it again. Give me back my Xbox remote. Stealing? How did I ever guess that? I don't know. And my prize is? And my prize I get to call you Fizao Poo Poo. Bopity bop 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 bop. That's not that good of a prize. That's not that good of a prize, but you want, I'll take it. I know, I'll call him Bizao. Beep beep. Bopity bop bop bip. Bippity bop bop bip. And now to finish off the the video, where are my dice of talking? There we go, here it is. Again, like this this is our thing is based off of Good Mythical Morning. And if you do watch Good Mythical Morning, you will know that there are that there's this thing called Wheel of Mythicality, where in the background they spin a wheel, and then what they land on, they have to do. So let's roll this one. It's a. This is the dice of talkiness. So talkiness. Do you want to roll? Or do you want me to roll? You can roll it. We're going. We're gonna do two because last time we didn't do it. And this is our second video, so we're gonna do two. But how does the audience know what each number is associated with? So this is a five. I got a five, and I'm gonna put a sheet of paper. Oh, you have it written down, so you can't just cheat. Okay. Yes. It says, clearly says five here. Halftime speech from John. What does that mean? You have to give a halftime speech, like halftime in a game or something. Halftime speech. Does that mean I. Do you know what a halftime is? Of like a football game. Correct! <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Um. Yeah, I don't know. People don't usually give speeches at halftime. Okay, I'll say, go team. I don't know. Like, they don't give speeches. They have, have to performances have or to they try. have cheerleaders or they okay, have, give us or they talk, they give, a ga they give a game recap. Okay. All right, so the Steelers are way behind the Jaguars in this game because their defense is just a mess. The end. Okay, and now you have to roll one. All right, Frank's turn. This is a six. Six is Jack slaps. Yeah, sorry. John slaps Jack hard. Are you ready? Go. Does it have to be in the face? I can't do it in the face. It doesn't say in the face. <laughs> but it's kind of implied. Okay. <laughs> I'm not doing it in the face. Okay. Uh, hard. It has to be hard. I'm just going to. 